The situation in Syria's southern region remains far from being stable. As of February 24th, several military and security developments were reported in the region. The most serious development was on February 23rd, when the Israeli Defense Forces IDF fired ground-to-ground -ground missiles at two observation posts of the Syrian Arab Army SAA, located near El Bath City in the town of Rihina in El Kanitra. The missile attack resulted in material losses only. Following the attack, the IDF dropped leaflets over El Kanitra, claiming that Hezbollah was active in the two targeted posts and warning SAA troops from any further cooperation with the Lebanese group. Meanwhile, in Daraa, the security situation continues to deteriorate. At least two assassinations were reported in the governorate's countryside. On February 21st, Ismail Shukri El Duran, a notorious rebel commander, was gunned down by unidentified gunmen in the town of Mleha El Shakia in the eastern Dara countryside. El Duran was reportedly behind several attacks that targeted Syrian government troops in Dara in the last few years. He was wanted by Syrian authorities. On February 23rd, Kamal Hamid El Jaouni, a former commander of ISIS's Khalid Ibn El Walid army, was shot and killed by unidentified gunmen while he was traveling on Abdin Beit Ira Road in the western countryside of Daraa. These attacks were part of an assassination campaign targeting former rebels and radicals in Daraa. Some Syrian opposition activists believe that Syrian intelligence is behind this campaign. In Syria's northern region, Turkish forces continue to attack areas held by the Kurdish-led Syrian Democratic Forces, SDF. On February 22nd, a Turkish combat drone struck two posts of the SDF's Mambij Military Council, MMC, located near the villages of Mansanli and Arab to the north of the town of Mambij in the northern Aleppo countryside. No casualties were reported as a result of the strikes. The next day, a Turkish drone strike hit a joint post of the SAA and the MMC located in the outskirts of the village of El Jat to the northeast of Mambij. Two SAA service members were wounded as a result of the strike. Four MMC fighters were also reportedly killed. The SDF and the SAA will likely respond to the Turkish drone attack very soon. The northern Aleppo countryside may experience a new escalation. Meanwhile, in Syria's central region, operations against ISIS cells continue despite reports of losses in the ranks of pro-government forces. On February 21st, five fighters of the pro-government Bakur Brigade were killed in Homs Desert when they stumbled on a landmine that was planted by ISIS terrorists. A day after the incident, warplanes of the Russian Aerospace Forces carried out more than a hundred strikes on ISIS hideouts in the Homs Desert. Furthermore, the SAA and other pro-government formations deployed additional forces around the Homs Desert to comb the area and clear any landmines or improvised explosive devices. The situation in central Syria appears to be slowly improving. However, more time and efforts are still needed to put an end to ISIS insurgency in the region. In Syria's northwestern region, also known as Greater Idlib, the situation remains calm despite a few ceasefire violations by Al-Qaeda-affiliated Hayat Tahrir al-Sham, HTS, and its allies. On February 22nd, the SAA shelled militants' positions in El Akrad Mountain in the northern Latakia countryside in response to recent attacks that wounded a few soldiers. At least one militant was killed as a result of the army's artillery strikes.